NVIDIA has expanded its portfolio with a brand new Workstations graphics card that follows on from the RTX A4000, A5000 and A6000 that the company has already released. The latest card has been called the RTX A2000, which has been designed as a smaller and more economical alternative for compact workstations. I'm Charlotte and today we're going to be talking all about this new graphics card. The NVIDIA RTX A2000 is an A10M Samsung Ampere GPU, which has been designed to have a lower power footprint than many other options. First off, it is a PCIe Gen 4x16 card, which means it can fit in many compact workstations. In terms of memory, we get 6GB of GDDR6 and 192-bit memory interface, good for up to 288GB per second. The 276mm squared die has 13.25 billion transistors and 3,328 CUDA cores, 104 tensor cores and 26 RT cores. This gives the solution the ability to be able to do 8 teraflops of single precision, 69.9 teraflops on the tensor cores and 15.6 teraflops on the RT cores. We did not get double precision figures on the pre-brief for this card. There is also a NVIDIA encoder and a NVIDIA decoder on board with AV1 decode. The card uses a dual slot active cooler and is a 70 watt card, meaning it does not need external power connectivity, instead drawing power from the PCIe Gen 4x16 bus. For graphics, there are four mini DP1.4 ports. It's not often nowadays that we end up with a GPU that's comically small. However, here we are, the NVIDIA RTX A2000. It's so petite for a workstation's graphics card. Although, one look under the hood and you'll realize that's because it's fairly closely related to the GeForce RTX 3060. I appreciate, it doesn't look that small without a point of reference to scale. That's why you really need to go and watch Richard Kerris VP of Omniverse Development at NVIDIA show it off in his SIGGRAPH announcement. Unfortunately, NVIDIA has not yet announced how much the RTX A2000 will cost. It states that the card will be available in October from Supermicro, Asus, Box Technologies and Lenovo, among others. There is no word yet though on if it will be purchasable outside of a pre-built machine. The question is, will you be purchasing the NVIDIA RTX A2000? Let us know down below in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content and hit the bell to be notified every time we post. See you in the next one.